From the East Tennessee Weather Center, here's your morning weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. It's going to be another warm one around East Tennessee. Temperatures warmer today than what we were even yesterday. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Thanks for checking in on your daily forecast weather updates. We do sure hope you have a great day. We're still going to have to contend with a little bit of that smoke and haze in the atmosphere. And then we're talking about some rain chances as we round out the week and head into the upcoming weekend. First things first, let's talk about the almanac from yesterday. Most locations were at or below average when we're talking temperatures, but that's going to be changing throughout the day today. So hazy, sunny, and warmer today, increasing high clouds late in the day on Wednesday, but it is going to be a little bit on the warmer side. Friday into the weekend, the remnants of Francine will bring us elevated rain chances. And of course, you can track them online at easttnweather.com or by downloading the East Tennessee Weather app if you don't have that. So let's talk about smoke and fires around the area. You still have quite a bit of smoke around the area as well. Moderate, uh, light to moderate to haze and smoke, more so across the Plateau Southern Valley and back towards Middle Tennessee and into Central and Western Kentucky. Temperatures, uh, we start the day off with temps in the 40s and 50s. We'll climb into the mid to upper 70s as we get into the lunch hour, so that's going to feel really nice. A little bit of a light breeze out there, but temperatures will warm a little bit more so today. We'll be back in the mid to upper 80s to near 90 degrees across much of the Southern Valley. However, dew points stay on the lower side. Now, the dew points start to climb a little bit. We had 40s yesterday across the Southern Valley. Now we're starting to get 50s, so the moisture content in the atmosphere will gradually increase here over the next several days, which is going to lead to those rain chances. And so you can see our dew point numbers just increase. And so it is going to be a muggy weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. In the meantime, I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of precipitation until Friday. Let me explain the details. High pressure is the name of the game. It shifts off to the northeast and the mid-Atlantic. You're going to start to notice the clouds off to our south and southwest. That's all associated with uh, Francine, and some of these outer bands will start to head our way. So today we're going to be sunny, quiet, and dry. As we get into our Wednesday, we'll start to see some high-level clouds, but we're rain-free on Wednesday. However, Thursday, watch this. Throughout the day on Thursday, here's Thursday morning, watch these little bands of rain moving their way on through the area. Now what I want to point out is while it looks like we're going to get some bands moving on through the area, the atmosphere is going to be extremely dry, and so I don't think that's going to translate to a lot of moisture at the surface. I think just Southern Valley south of Interstate 40 has the best chance of seeing some light rain showers Thursday. Northern Valley, Upper East Tennessee, likely to stay on the drier side. And that's due to the fact that the low levels of the atmosphere are extremely dry. So we'll get a lot of virga or rain evaporating before it reaches the surface. That's on Thursday. But as we get into our Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we'll have those elevated rain chances. And because the clouds and the rain are settling on in, temperatures will come down to below average. So it's going to be a nice, pleasant feeling to the weekend. However, as we look ahead through the rest of the month, we may be actually trending at or above average when it comes to uh, high temperatures. Rain chances do ramp up again, 30% on Thursday, most of that south of Interstate 40. Then as we get into our Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just a lingering remnants of uh, Francine will just kind of bring us those elevated rain chances. So it's going to be a little bit more rather unsettled, if you will, but not a total washout. So don't cancel any outdoor plans. And of course, uh, if you're heading off to the football game on Saturday night, uh, we'll have more updates as we get closer to the weekend. It's only Tuesday, but it does look like some scattered rain chances are in the forecast for the football game. Here is the latest from the National Hurricane Center. Francine uh, is a tropical storm still. Winds at uh, 65 miles per hour. Could become a Category 1 hurricane throughout the day today. And then zip its way right up the Mississippi River Valley and just kind of linger across uh, parts of the Mississippi and Ohio Valleys as we head through the weekend. So the rain's going to spread its way on into the area and again, I think through the weekend, as we get into our Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we'll add more rain chances to the area. So I think we'll see anywhere from a half an inch to well over an inch and a half of rainfall. And we'll see higher amounts across the plateau in the Southern Valley, which is good news because we desperately need the rain there. So we'll keep you posted on that. And remember, you can always track the tropics with the East Tennessee Weather app. Just go to the interactive radar, click on the cog wheel on the top right hand side. That will let you know exactly what's going on with the tropics from the National Hurricane Center as you can turn on hurricane trackers. We'll also have your uh, daily weather forecast updates there, and of course your current conditions, seven-day forecasts, and everything you need to know for weather right here in East Tennessee. So have a wonderful and safe day. Your next weather update's coming up at noon today. We'll keep you posted on hurricane, tropical storm, Francine, that could become a hurricane later on today. See you soon.